Hi there, Pastor Kelly here with today's Radiant Word, and today we're in Exodus 28 and 29. And uh, if you've already read these chapters, you may be thinking, why in the world would I take the time to read this? How does this apply to me at all today in the year 2020? And I want to emphatically speak to that question and say, it has a great deal to do with you and I today in the year 2020. The, these chapters truly do apply to us in a very powerful and real way. So go ahead and uh, engage with me as we look into what the Holy Spirit is saying to us through Exodus 28 and 29. In these chapters, the Lord tells Moses to set apart Aaron and his sons and consecrate them as priests unto the Lord. You see, they were called out from among the rest of the people and set apart unto God to be holy. They were called out to be different to represent God and his holiness. You could say they were special. <laughs> and because of this, God gave very detailed and special instructions to them. Now, if you haven't noticed already, God is definitely into details. We see that clearly in this book of the Bible. And here in these chapters, God gives very specific instructions about the garments that the priest were to wear. Now, this is extremely important to God. And I believe we need to pay attention to what is important to God and why things are important to him. Well, in this case, you see the garments for the high priest were special and they were set apart from common clothing in order to elevate the office of the priest and to show the dignity and the honor and, and to serve as a constant reminder of God's holiness purity and majesty. Now, as I read these chapters, I can't help but think about our Radiant Word passages from Genesis a few weeks ago and the very special coat that Jacob made for his son, Joseph. Joseph was the special chosen one who was set apart from among the rest for God's divine purpose. <laughs> I love that. I love the, the correlation and the common threads that we see woven through the scripture. But there was a divine purpose behind every detail that God gave them concerning their priestly garments in Exodus 28. We don't have time to go into all of the meanings behind each detail, but I will point out my personal favorite part of the priestly garments, and that is the turban or the headpiece that they were to wear. In verses 36 through 38 of Exodus 28, it, it talks about the turban of the priest, that it was to be made of linen, and the most obvious feature of the turban was a plate of pure gold engraved with the words, holy to the Lord. This expression of Israel's need for purity before God was attached to the front of the turban and over Aaron's forehead as a constant reminder of who they were and whose they were. You see, 1 Peter 1.15 tells us today, he who called you is holy. Therefore, you also be holy in all of your conduct. God is holy and we can never, ever forget that. We're in the book of Revelation now in this new series on our in our weekend worship services. And in Revelation 4, 8, it tells us of, about the four living creatures around God's throne in heaven who never stop day and night. They never stop proclaiming the holiness of God. It tells us that they are constantly declaring, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. And in Ephesians 1 verse 4, it speaks clearly to you and me today concerning what we are reading here in Exodus 28 and 29. Ephesians 1 4 says to you and me today, he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him. And why is this? And why does this apply to us today? Well, the answer to that is this. 
under the new covenant in the blood of Jesus Christ, you and I are now priests and kings. <laughs> Do you believe it? It's written in God's word. And not just once, but but several times. In Revelation 1, verses 5 and 6, Pastor Todd will be going over these verses this weekend in our weekend worship services. It says, To him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Listen, the word of God says that because of the blood of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus, you are a priest unto God in this day. And 1 Peter 2, 9 says you are chosen. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. You are God's own special people. Why? That you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous life. So again, how does this apply to us today? Well, I please hear this clearly. If you have received salvation through Jesus Christ, you are called to be a royal priest unto our Lord and Savior. You are called to be holy as he is holy. You have been washed in the blood of the lamb and set apart as a holy priest to represent him and his holiness, his majesty, his purity. Friend, you are called to be special. You are called out from the rest of the world to be different and to, and to represent the God whom we serve. You know, I think you and I would do well to imagine ourselves in priestly garments and to imagine ourselves with a sign of pure gold on our foreheads as a constant reminder of who we are. And on that sign on our foreheads, like the priest of the Old Testament, it reads, holy to the Lord. Friend, that's who you are as a child of God. You are holy unto the Lord. He is holy and as he is holy, be holy in all of your conduct. In Jesus name and for his glory, amen.